Danish. We're going to be answering in Danish. When are we going to start? Danish or English? Danish is fine. I want to start saying that I haven't talked with Christian's family in or in Christian with detail, so I'm not going to say anything in detail right now. But I want to say what we've seen and what have been seen on the screen. We were called on a pitch when Christian fell down. I didn't see it myself, but it was pretty clear that he was unconscious. When I get to him, he he's on his side. He is breathing. And I can feel his pulse, but suddenly that changes. And if, as everyone saw, it's, we started giving him CPR. The help came really, really fast from, from the medical team and the rest of the staff. And with their cooperation, we, we did what we had to do. And we managed to get Christian back. He speaks to me before he he is taken to to the hospital to to more analysis. Questions to Morten in, in a bit. Casper, do you, do you want to say something about the situation? First of all, I have to say sorry in advance if it gets a little emotional right now. It was a tough night. We are all reminded that of what the most important thing in life is, and that's to have valuable relations. People we have close to us, our family, our friends, and we have a group of of players I can't praise enough. I I, I couldn't be prouder of these people who, who take such good care of, of each other. And in, in such a time where, where one of my very, very dear friends is suffering, the way the players, the way the players talked in the, in the dressing room or the locker room and sh were they there to show their emotions they decide to, first of all, not to do anything before we we were sure that Christian was was conscious and that everything was okay. So we had two options to play the game or play tomorrow at twelve o'clock. So everyone was they agreed on everyone agreed on playing playing today. Of course, you can't play a game with such feelings and what we try to do is incredible it's incredible that the players managed to go out and try and play the second half and still be dominant I'm, I'm very affected myself I was involved in a similar situation as, as a coach where we almost lost someone on on the field and I can feel I can feel that it means something and now I see how how everyone reaches out to their family right now and tries FaceTiming them. So that's what a situation like this does. It's a tough night. It's a tough tough night to go out this way. All of our Thoughts and prayers are with Christian right now and his family. Christian is is one of our best players or one of the best players there there is. And he's an even better person. So all my thoughts and all my positive energy goes go out to, to Christian. Thank you both. Now you can ask by clicking on the hand and I can see that you're there and you're going to get the, the floor if somebody want to 
say something or ask a question, it's now. <sighs> now I'm not sure whether the system works. Couple of hands now. Michelle from BT. Can you hear or see us, Michelle? We can see that you have the word, but that's weird. <laughs> Let's try again. Technical issues. Sammy, we're going to take you first and we're going to come back to you, Michelle. Sorry about the technique. Hi, Casper. Can you hear me? Hi, Sammy. A very, very sad night. We were all affected by it. I want to ask about the process when you waited uh, and the crisis meeting. Did you feel any pressure from from UEFA in terms of playing the playing the game, or was it something the players wish for? No, there is no pressure from from UEFA about doing it tonight. We knew that we had two options. Nothing. Finland is playing on the 16th, and we're playing on the on the 17th. If they played on the on the 17th, we could have played it a day later. But it was either tonight or tomorrow at 12 p.m. The players couldn't imagine not being able to sleep tonight. Yeah, and then have to get in tomorrow, get in the bus, and and play a game. It was easier to go in now than, than do that. And honestly, it was best to get it over with. And, you know, just get it over with. And that's, we, we spent the time trying to decide what to do. Thank you, Sammy. More questions now that you're on. An additional question. I was saying you could see a different kind of energy from from the players, and that is understandable. But can you tell us what kind of change you saw on your team? Honestly, there were players out, there were players out there who were completely done, emotionally done, and emotionally exhausted. The majority said that they couldn't play, that it was impossible to to finish this. They were hugging each other. Well, you know, it, it is a traumatic experience, and the attitude was, let's go out and try do what we can. And then we talked about talked about allowing having all these feelings and it was okay to say no if they weren't able to to play some of them said that he wanted to try and i said no no matter what feelings they had it was all okay you have to allow yourself to to try and play the game if you if you feel like it and you have to dare to show happy emotions but it was okay to say to say no, and uh, because some of them they weren't able to, they weren't able to play, and some of them were ready. So we just basically tried to to do our best. You you can you can't play a football game at this level, and 
it has to be okay to to it's not okay to be it's not normal to play such a game and then see one of your friends suffer with with a heart issue Miguel, please present yourself can you hear me yes we can hi Miguel. it's Miguel from baltico so we can't have to get out after after some time was it uh, why was it <laughs> Simon was very very affected I we he, he wasn't really sure whether he could continue but we gave it a try but it was impossible and that's 100% understandable I can't I can't imagine playing a football game myself after after that but that's that was because he was he was overwhelmed they are very good friends so he was affected maybe more questions now that you're you're coming through no nope. mess you're on So I listen to you. First of all, thank you for for wanting to be here, even though you a lot of people just want to go home. What do you say about uh, Simon Kea, Casper and Casper Smile and Delaney trying to to cover cover Christian and then and then comforting? Uh, Christian's girlfriend. How how was it? How how was that experience? We are dealing with top professional athletes who sacrifice so much to achieve so much greatness on on field. I tried to describe the the team spirit on on the team, and it's not just it's not just the team spirit. It's really good friendship. They know each other. Their best friends. Their their lives are are similar with families, with girlfriends and wives and children. So yeah. The first thing they thought was the family. They thought of Christian's family instantly. Thank you. Somebody who has more questions. One more question from Adam from Ritzau. You're on. Hi, Casper. Just to 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 finish it. Do you know what kind of work is ahead of you now to gather the team? Do the players need some crisis management, or that happens all the time? No matter what happens, no matter if where that happens, they're gonna have. We're gonna offer therapy sessions. We're gonna talk about it tomorrow and tomorrow tonight. And you and spend the next few days to to deal with this. And of course, there are professional people who are going to help us with, with that. And we're a close, close in group. We're going to deal with it together. And it's important that each player deals with it as, as good as, as good as possible. So I think that's the best, the, the best thing I can say and the most detailed thing I can I can tell you right now on, on the next few days where we're gonna try and deal with it as, as good as we can. More questions, Adam? No, it's okay. 